Hi everyone, Mike Joy and Daryl Waltrip welcoming you to the Tricky Triangle, the very unique Pocono International Raceway for today's Pocono 400. Mike, this place is crazy fast. It's unbelievable how fast they're turning this two and a half mile racetrack. Long straightaways. Watch these guys snake their way down through here as they try to pick a draft up off of each other. Daryl, this race 100 miles shorter than last year. Will that make a difference? It's going to make a huge difference. You can go flat out, but one thing you have to always remember, fuel mileage. Keep that in the back of your mind. Right. If you run out of gas on the front straightaway here, it's a long way around this unique trial. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pocono for the 14th race of our second NASCAR 15 season. Here's we bring back the Cobalt paint scheme for this weekend, number 48 Lowe's slash Cobalt Chevrolet here. Pocono, of course, one of the tougher tracks on the schedule. Last season, we were driving Dale Jr.'s car. We managed to win the first race at Pocono on strategy. And the second race, well, it didn't go as planned. We finished, you know, like 16th or something. So here we go. As we're underway here in Pocono with 16 laps to go. We reached at the very first lap here, 16 lap race. We are back here in 39th. After a poor qualifying effort, we're going to have to try to work our way forward to this pack right now. McDowell and Michael Butcher already got around. So we're already basically fighting for last right now with Chase Elliott. As the car's handling right now is not up to par where it should be here in Pocono. So we're just hoping we can make some adjustments on our next pit stop whenever that may be. He's already gets above Michael McDowell here in the corner. Sideways McDowell. He's going to make an incredible save. Chase Elliott's going to go in the wall behind us. As we now move into 41st, as we try to charge now through this field to get to the front and try to get this win in the back of Jamie McMurray, give him a bumpy sideways up the racetrack, we get underneath him. And now trying to pass Jamie McMurray for 40th, there's some contact here coming down the front straightaway, some big side drafting, trying to break the draft down the front stretch, Joey Logano has a fast lap of the race as Dale Earnhardt Jr. leads this race. In the turn one and two, we're gonna have a big run on the back of the one of McMurray's. We are clearly lacking in the speed and handling department already. We clearly just don't have your Pokemon. We just slam the wall hard there in turn one, sending it way too deep. Trying to get by the one of McMurray. As we now go down the long pond straightaway, heading into turn two, which is a dangerous corner. We go from a super high speed straightaway to a short, quick braking zone. As we go to the inside of McMurray, trying to get up into 39th. There's some contact sideways and around goes McMurray, and the caution will come out. There's been a wreck in front of us as well. There's been a wreck in front of us as well as the one back here with myself and McMurray to bring out the caution. It was Casey Mears who gets stacked up right here and then gets turned, bounced off the wall by Justin Allgaier and Ryan Blaney in one of those classic uh, NASCAR 15 wall pops. Sends him around. That means not the first caution besides, you know, the fact that I spun Jamie McMurray back there battling for 40th. So now we pitted, made the necessary adjustments, and I'm going to restart 42nd here alongside 55 of Michael Waltrip with 13 laps to go here in Sonoma. Now Danica Patrick, big stack of four wide to the inside. We make the aggressive move, trying to get every position possible here. Heading to one and two. Connor Vickers almost turns us up the track hard into Casey Kane, and our car turns to the walls. My controller disconnected on me right as we're heading into turn one. So it just slams in the wall afterwards. I see where the controller disconnects. We slam Casey Kane hard. And Danica, we see we go back into the wall because our controller just disconnected on me, which is a <coughs> terrible problem. I've been suffering recently. And so it disconnects I mean, we crashed into the wall, and now we're going to restart here in 20th alongside the 55 Brian Vickers after we fixed our controller issue there with 11 laps to go. We have to come back here from 20th with a damaged right front fender after slamming into the outside wall hard. Oh, and more contact with Vickers off in turn one, two. Sends us up out of the groove, and now we're trying to make this high line work. We can't quite get the turning angle we need here to get through one and two there. We bounce off the wall hard right there. Get to the side of Dale Jr. Here goes Trevor Bain. Where did he come from? A massive run on the outside. Now we got the draft of JJ Yaley behind us. We try to work our way up into the top 20. We're going to go to the outside here in turn two. That's not going to work. We're going to slide right up into the fence, and there goes two, three more positions. There's a fourth inside the side of in the 78 he gets by us as we oh and we get turned hard into Eric Almarola big hit and they're wrecking hard in front of us we're getting slammed in the wall by everybody and the caution will come out for the third time today here in Pokemon we're going to slam Michael Annette afterwards just in frustration probably going to Kyle Busch turned us right into Eric Almarola and almost went into Regan Smith and he went around Chase Elliott McDowell Jeff Burton was in of course Annette David Reagan got slammed in the wall hard back there so we all crashed and third caution in just six laps here in Pocono now back on lap 8 at the halfway point in this race, we're recently alongside Tenny Hamlin fighting for, actually alongside Casey Kane in the 5, fighting for 41st place right now. It has been an absolutely abysmal race 
where nothing is really going right for us here in Pocono. We're just trying to get this race over with and move on to the next one in Michigan. As we go on the outside of Brad Keselowski to make the pass outside of Kyle Busch. We continue to make moves. We're flying through this pack now. On the inside, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jamie McMurray, three wide to get up here, battling for 31st. Covers almost nearly four wide. So we some contact with Jeff Burton in the corner. We're sliding everyone's side there, crashing hard behind us. Cars are in the wall. Ray bounces off the wall. The caution will come out once again here in Pocono. Something must have happened in the aftermath of what happened behind us from all that hard racing and contact going into turn two as we are all bounce off the wall and Dale Jr. gets slammed hard in the outside wall and crashes down in the inside wall. Dale Jr.'s day ruined after that one. He goes crashing hard. So if most of us are going to come down pit here, we're going to stay out and restart here in 22nd long time. The guy gets stacked up by David Reagan. Get put a, between rock and a hard place right there as we try to fight our way up in the top 20. Going by the inside of Danica Patrick, who had a horrible restart and stacked up the entire outside lane, including myself. Now we got pressure from Joey Legano, who's already around us. And now Jeff Gordon in 24. We try to hit the brakes here in one and two. Big on the back of 24. Gordon, he's going to slide, make an incredible save behind us. Oh, there's a car slamming in the wall. And that's a caution once again. And caution number five out here in Pocono. After the side effects of myself and Jeff Gordon getting together, he slides. He makes an incredible save until right there when he hits Casey Mears. Sends him head on to the outside wall. A hard hit behind him. Newman Rex. Vickers a huge lick into the inside wall. My goodness, what a hit. And so we're going to out this time we start now in ninth inside the top 10 for the first time today battling for ninth with brad keselowski on this restart with joy legano and ty dillon just ahead we're gonna go try to force it low we're gonna be stuck where we are right now in between ty dillon and brad keselowski we decide to commit to the outside here into turn one trying to get whatever move we can here catching up to the back of ricky stenhouse as we slide up out of the groove and into the wall here next to turn one we're gonna lose all that position we just get in we're gonna crash hard into david gillen we got cars crashing everywhere hard hard hits we're slamming the wall and the caution is out once again for the sixth time, and it happens pretty much every lap of the restart. Absolutely disastrous turn of events for us. The, the cars went spinning to the inside. Oh, and cars were spinning everywhere. Killen was around Almarola. A whole bunch of cars. The whole back half of the field just crashed in spectacular fashion. And this time, I think it's time we come down Piro and we decide not to. We decide to stay out because it's just three laps to go left in the race. I mean, it's everyone for himself at this point. We gotta try something. So we restart back in 11th. Already making a move by Kyle Larson, Jeff Gordon, Michael McDowell. We're trying to get up inside the top 10 now behind Dale Jr. And now catching up to the 14 of Tony Stewart up ahead. We're gonna send it underneath him. We're gonna just edge him out narrowly. Clearing Tony Stewart. Oh, more contact. We get a huge wiggle right there. As we save it from Tony Stewart, an unbelievable save right there. As now we're getting time in the 43 on roll, 42 of Larson up into the wall. We go, we hang on to it, but we lose time. And now here comes Stewart and Earnhardt to our inside as we're losing positions now. Fighting to hang on to 13th place at this rate, but the car, we just don't have the handling or the speed. Pokemon is one of those tough tracks where we can't quite figure it out. And the AI are just absolutely just stomping on us right now. They're kicking our butt as we try to get this victory. Vickers clears us up ahead. We got pressure from Greg Biffle in the 16 right behind. Should catch back up to Vickers for 11. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., by the way, is leading this race with just two laps to go. We send it on to Vickers. A huge bump. We slide all the way up into the back of Biffle. Into the wall we go. We crunch Biffle down. We force him four or five wide. There goes a 16 to Biffle. He's going around, and the caution comes out. And we're going to a green white checkered for the first time here in Pocono. A four wide battle does not end well here for the 16 of Greg Biffle. He ends up wiping out and spinning and gets, oh, he gets T-boned by Ryan Blaney down the back stretch. A huge lick. Man, that was a hard crash. Now we get our first green right checker attempt here. Two laps to go. We stay on the racetrack. We start in 11th with some significant right from fender damage. At this point, it is survival of the fittest. Do what you got to do to get the best finish possible here. I mean, this has not been our race, but still being in the top nearly the top 10 that's a miracle this point now we send it underneath david gillen a four wide pass right there what a move we force those guys up to the wall and now we're trying to pass david reagan for sixth place with an incredible move there through turn one as we get ready to this long story heading to the tunnel turn turn two david reagan on our outside regan smith way on our inside this damage is affecting our straightaways and cornering abilities we just go way off and slam that wall hard and there goes four positions make that five as we go right from seventh down to twelfth there's a sixth if 7th, 8th, we're already down now, back down to 15th place. The struggle is real right now here at Pocono. It's a huge stack up here. 
Now we're just sliding up the race here. Is Michael Lennox gonna come down pair with Justin Allgaier? That'll benefit us greatly. As now we move into 13th, or sorry, 12th place now, forcing away by David Gill and white flag in the air. Final lap presented by Colonel Mike for Brian Vickers, who was charged away from 11th to the lead and who was wrecked, or, I mean, not even 10 laps ago, is now about to get his first, or sorry, his second win of the season. This is unbelievable for Brian Vickers. Of course, he won in Kansas with the glitch and everything. Now he could pull it off here in Pocono. On the last lap, we are now in 12th, trying to hold off <laughs> Cole Witt and the rest of the field behind us, and maybe, just maybe gain on Carl Edwards, but hey, 12th will still be a nice salvage of what was a rough day here in Pocono. We're going to slide up here and turn two. Huge game behind us by Casey Kane. A big block, and I missed the block on David Gilland. We fence him as he gets to our outside. Now we're going into turn three, trying to hold on to whatever positions we get. We're going to send it here, and we're going to force the 35 of Cole up into the fence. Use him as a wall. Block Harvick. He almost wrecks. What a save. Vickers wins in Pocono, and we will salvage a 12th place finish as Brian Vickers gets his second win of the season here in Pocono, and we'll be back in the chase once again. As just short of David Gillen and Kyle Busch there, we come home P12. Still a very solid finish here in Pocono after everything we went through that race. 12th place, I will take it, absolutely. But Brian Vickers, your winner. Leading two laps, David Reagan, your runner-up. Eric Almarola in third. Brad Keselowski with the fastest lap in fourth. Almondinger fifth, and then Denny Hamlin, Joy Logano, Trevor Bain, Carl Edwards, and David Gilliland to round out your top ten tonight. I'm uh, sorry, today here in Pocono. And of course, you got Kyle Busch eleventh, myself in twelfth, Jeff Gordon finishes in fourteenth. Yeah, Harvick there in sixteenth, Casey Kane seventeenth, Biffle Blaney Truex just barely inside the top twenty. And the guys who really struggled to finish, you know, Dale Jr. down there in twenty third, Tony Stewart in twenty sixth, and Kurt Busch in thirtieth. Even worse, Larson, McMurray, Boyer, 31st through 33rd, Newman in 35th, and then DNFs. We got a couple DNFs. Michael Waltrip, Matt Kenseth, Chase Elliott, Danica Patrick, and Casey Mears. All DNF from this race from that hard crash we saw a couple of laps ago. And now we're going to look to the updated point standings after our 14th race of the season at Pocono. Where Brian Vickers, victorious for the second time. So, of course, we remain top of the board. Six wins, ten top tens. Rear points leader, then Denny Hamlin has two wins, and now Brian Vickers has two wins. Jeff Gordon has a win, which puts us at four winners, and then we go down to see Matt Kenseth, who's our fifth different winner. Tony Stewart, our sixth, and then a ways down here will be Ryan Blaney. So if you can get to the top 30 in points, will be his seventh. So we have seven winners with 12 races to go in the regular season, which right now would mean a max of 19 but on points. You know, you got Casey Kane, Greg Biffle, Kevin Harvick, AJ Allmendinger. Brad Keselowski, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jamie McMurray, Martin Truex, and Cole Witt in a good area right now, as well as Joy Logano, Kyle Busch, David Reagan, and Kurt Busch all in that bubble area fighting for every possible point. So, Brian Vickers gets the second win of the season after this crazy race in Pocono, and we remain your points leader. So, until the next episode, I hope you all have a good one.